Hey friends, Robert Imbrielli here. Just want to check in with you and I'm going to ask you the question that I've been asking pretty much everybody uh, that I've been running into over the past week or so. And the question, the question is, how are you doing? How are you doing? Right? It's not just how you doing and I don't really care. It's how you really doing. What's going on out there? Are you enjoying what's going on? Are you navigating it well? Uh, honestly, it's been a little bit crazy, right? It's been a little bit over the top for so many of us, uh, really trying to figure out what's going on. One of the things that I do every year on Black Friday is I always look at what the sales numbers are. And this Black Friday was pretty flat for a lot of my, my clients. They just weren't making the sales the way they have in years past because everything's so messed up, right? <clears throat> and you think, oh, well, people are just going to the mall. No, they're not going to the mall. Malls are, are full, but they're not overflowing like they normally are. So it's a very weird year. It's a very strange year. And I think whenever there is such levels of uncertainty, and honestly, in our lifetime, my lifetime, I've never experienced this, right? Maybe my dad's lifetime, and during World War II, they experienced all the uncertainty and all the challenges that, uh, you know, we can kind of compare with what's going on right now. There's a lot of uncertainty out there. We've got the coronavirus. We're about here in uh, California again to be shut down once more. It looks like they're going to do a complete shutdown again and you can't leave the house and all the rest of this nonsense uh, that, you know, like I said, right from the beginning, the numbers don't support uh, the actions they're taking. I don't really know what's going on. But I don't know what, what's behind it or who's driving it. But clearly, you know, it's not uh, business friendly. We've got that. And then we've got the election turmoil that's that's sort of ongoing now. And uh, more and more uh, evidence is coming about that, you know, there was a lot of fraud in this this election. And I know the mainstream media is not sharing that narrative with you. So if you're not, if you haven't heard that part of it, uh, you're probably a little bit shocked. But the truth of the matter is there's there's a lot of evidence coming out. And all of it makes everything uncertain, right? So we're looking at, okay, are we going to have a new president? Are we going to have the same president? Are we going to have no president, right? Maybe nobody gets sworn in on January 20th. That is a possibility. And then you might end up with President Nancy Pelosi as an example, right? So there's a lot of things in play right now. Nothing is solid. Nothing is guaranteed. And, uh, you know, what happens with a lot of people, I was talking with a, a business owner friend of mine today, and I said, what are you going to do? And he goes, I don't know. And it's like, it's the first time in his entire business career where he says, I don't know. And you don't know because you don't know what's happening. You don't know where things are going to land on the other side of this. So the advice I've been giving my clients and I'll give to you as well is hunker down. Uh, don't be spending a lot of money right now. We don't know what the future is going to hold. Just take, uh, take you buy the things that are necess necessary for you to buy to get through the day, get through your week and really don't uh, be spending a lot of uh, unnecessary dollars because we kind of don't know what's next. We don't know what's coming. We don't know if things are gonna get better. We don't know if things are gonna get worse. Uh, it's really hard to see the future when there's this much fog literally blocking it. So, uh, you know, if I can give you a word of encouragement, just come back to the present moment, right? Uh, a lot of the fear that we have is because we're projecting into the future and we project into the future and we don't know what the future is going to bring. It creates a lot of uncertainty. What you can do is roll it back and come back right into this present moment right here, right now, and realize, am I okay right now? Well, I've got two feet planted on the ground. I've eaten. I've got a roof over my head. I've got a place to work. Uh, you know, there is business coming in. It's not at the level that I'm used to, but there's business coming in. I'm okay. The bills are taken care of, right? I got people who love me. I got, you know, and it would just go through that process. And when you do that, it calms you down quite a bit, quite significantly. I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring, but here's an interesting truth. Do we ever know what tomorrow is going to bring? Ever? I mean, ever? Really? I mean, I can get in my car and that be it. Somebody, some drunk driver plows into me, I'm done. I don't know that. I don't know, but I don't, I'm not afraid of getting in the car and driving, right? I could go outside, I can get this virus. So what? Am I going to fear this virus? Of course I'm not going to fear this virus. Not for one second will I give fear uh, a chance on this right? We're strong. We've got to be strong. We've got to be able to, you know, face whatever's coming with as much strength as we've got. We're not strong by uh, being in fear. We're weakened by being in fear. So if I can encourage you to come back to the present moment and, and really let that, that tomorrow stuff go away, you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. 
You could have a million dollars in your bank account tomorrow morning when you wake up. Uh, you know, it could happen, right? Not necessarily going to happen, but it could happen, right? So you don't know. You know, the world could end tomorrow. The you know, Who knows, right? And worrying about it only robs you of the joy you can have from today. So I'm going to suggest to you, you come back to your present moment, come back to this moment now, right here, right now, and just take a moment, take a deep breath, and realize all the good that you have in your life. Realize that although there's a lot of uncertainty over the horizon, true, it doesn't have to impact this current moment. So I've been talking to my clients about that, I've been helping them with that, and it's really helped them be a little bit more centered, be a little bit stronger, and be able to face whatever it is that's coming next. I don't know what's coming next, but whatever it is, you want to be able to face it. You want to be able to be in a position of, uh, you know, strength rather than a position of fear. You don't want to come at anything in fear. You want to come at it strong. And when you come at something strong, typically, you know, you win. So that's what I want you to do is I want you to do everything you can to remain strong, protect yourself, be in a position that, you know, you're ready to fight kind of thing. Whatever is going to come up, you're ready and have your mindset around that. And I think you're going to be okay. I think, you know, as we go forward, things are going to, to flatten out. Things are going to get better. We're in the middle of winter right now. I think, you know, if, if I were to make a guess and, and I don't know, I'm like you, I don't have any information. I think things may get a little bit worse before they start clearing up. But even in the biggest winter storms, and I grew up in Montreal, I know winter, right? Uh, you know, even in the worst of the storms, no matter how much snow you get, three feet, four foot, 12 feet of snow, at some point, the snow melts. It goes away. So whatever's going on right now, with all the crazy that's out there, it's going to go away. It's not going to last. It's not going to persist, right? It's rough right now. I get it, but it's not here forever. So stay strong. Stay positive, keep your eye on the target, what it is you want to create for yourself, and know that at some point, things are going to get better. So that's my update for today. I look forward to doing this again with you real soon. Thanks for watching.